boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on the World Wide Web and all mobile devices. And we had an exciting Friday, exciting Friday morning, uh, bringing us into the weekend right. We're going to talk about some of the music that got released. And we're going to talk about Kanye West and Rihanna. And let's get it started off with Never Broke Again. NBA Youngboy, because he released his, uh, I think it's a mixtape with DJ Drama. It was hosted by DJ Drama. It's called Ma, I Got a Family. And he has a song on there. And if you look, uh, link back to our uh, one of our first um, members only. We told you about him him uh, being managed by Baby, and that was going to secure another Nicki Minaj feature because he did not like the they didn't really like the last one. If y'all go back to that video I put out months ago, it it was in there. So I admit uh, is on the, is the new collaboration. Nicki Minaj and NBA Youngboy. And we're just going to get to Nicki's lyrics. <laughs> because she was singing at first, you know, she, and she also sang after her verse. But her verse, when she came in, if we want to break down the verse, she said, I know you slime, I know you ain't lacking, you violent. Them N-words ran down on your homie, now you sliding. If I don't pick up when you call, you going to be wilding. But I just pray you make it home. Hey, yo, and we still on the get back, popping chains, don't give S back, back shots, get that grip back, go down with your lick back, real N words, don't play with a bad B, he ain't fitting to risk that, soon as I give in to him, he finna get my name on his next tat, go against me, wear your suicide letter, B wanna kill thyself, then I let her. Soon as he say it's go time, I get her. Told that B bowed down when I met her. You a amateur ho. I'm in the league. Point guard. Tongue out. Oh, look at the speed. I don't lick the rims on shots. Double entendre. I all net her. Jump shot wetter. NBA better. She played on the whole NBA better thing. And then she tied the NBA better into the NBA scheme with the um, I'm in the league, point guard, tongue out. You know, Michael Jordan used to have his tongue out. Oh, look at the speed. You know, of course, the point guard is supposed to be the fastest. I don't lick the rims on shots. So, um, you know, on uh, that's a double entendre. She don't lick the rims, meaning she don't hit the rim when she's shooting. And she also don't lick the rims on shots because on shots, they have salt around the rim. On shots, that was a slick double entendre. I all net her. Jump, all net means, you know, swish. And she don't hit the rim. Um, I don't lick the rim on shots. I all netters don't hit the rim. Jump shot wetter. That's what they used to say. Hey, that jump shot is wet. You know what I'm saying? So if if they if you got a good jump shot, they'll say that jump shot's wet. That's NBA talk. And of course, she says NBA better. You know, so remember that goes back to when she initially said, "I'm in the league." So the NBA is better. You're an amateur. But I'm in the league. NBA is better. The NBA is better than amateurs and NBA better. That's what they, what his fans always say. Very, very, very slick wordplay. Dope line. Nikki ate this verse. Ate this verse. You know, NBA Youngboy does what he does. I'm not really in the NBA Youngboy. I strictly went to listen to the song and went right to, to see if Nicki was rapping. At first, she was singing. I'm like, oh, man, I hope she's not singing on this one, whole entire song. Then she went in, started rapping, killed it. Totally ate on the verse. That's why she's Queen Nicki Minaj, and those lyrics were fire. Moving on to, to the cap of the night. Now, Rihanna was supposedly confirmed to be on Jeezy's 
uh, new album. That's uh, Snowfall that he put out with DJ Drama. All right. And they were supposed to be on a record together. Now, they, uh, Jeezy had like a whiteboard and it said uh, Minds featuring Rihanna. So everyone was under under uh, the impression that Rihanna was going to be in this album. Then Jeezy comes out and says, oh, Rihanna still hasn't given me a call about the Super Bowl. Tell Rihanna to call me for the Super Bowl because I'm ready. And that had people thinking even more so. See how they all play this game? They all play it when, when they start. They don't come out and say it themselves, but they see the rumor circulating and they don't clear it up. So to get buzz around his album, he sat and let and let everybody think that Rihanna was going to be on this album and she is nowhere to be found. The song Minds, I guess it just doesn't exist. So that's the, the uh, that song did not come out. Now we have this nut job, Kanye West. And let me tell you something. Clip started circulating when he was on Drink Champs, and he alluded to Meek Mill smashing Rihanna. Now I'm gonna let you take a listen to what Kanye West said, and then we're gonna come back. This is back. the culture. This is who we are. You're saying. That's why I love Meek Mills. You you understand what I'm saying? You're going there. Like Meek I Mills is in that. prison talking about, I'm going to fuck Rihanna. And, okay, we say, I'm going to say it some way. It's that disrespect for uh, Rocky. Meek Mills was like in prison, like, yo, I'm going to bag this joint. And he did. Multiple joints. Boom, 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 boom. He you even got the Rocky, fuck. Now, he also then later went on to insinuate that Big Sean told him he could have smashed Rihanna as well. Now, I know a lot of Rihanna fans don't like hearing it. And they're saying, and trust me, I don't like hearing it. I'm a big Rihanna fan. And this is definitely something I do not want to hear. Now, but this is not the first time this rumor has been out there. If you really pay attention to the Meek Mill and Drake. Uh, I told you guys this a long time ago. The Meek Mill and Drake feud. When Drake said uh, in that song, you cannot stand next to me. Don't you see Rihanna right next to me? I do y'all remember that? And then Meek Mill put out a song after that saying, as far as that B standing next to you, I already smashed that. So, <laughs> you know, this has been around for a while. This rumor has been around for a while. So Kanye West just said, people are trying to say, no, he didn't say that. He said, I'm going to word it differently out of respect for Rocky. And if you go listen to this interview near the end, around the three hour and 22 minute mark, he said, you know, I'm, we're going to use respect for Rocky. And there's, you know, people, Meek Mill said he never smashed you know, my wife, but there are other women in other situations and we're going to have respect for Rocky. So when he said that, he was talking about Rihanna and said, you know, Big Sean said he could have smashed. And then um, that's when Kanye was like, oh, but and you didn't? What do you mean you didn't? So Kanye, man, I, he got them drinks in him and he was just letting off and everything. Now, again, I told you guys that Kanye West was jealous of ASAP Rocky. He was calling up Rihanna, trying to tell Rihanna that ASAP was not the guy for her. Now, probably because they were working on music together, Rihanna probably didn't tell ASAP Rocky, or else he probably would have cut Kanye off then. But it wasn't until Kanye came on Drink Chance and tried to say um, some chick smashed uh ASAP Rocky. And now he's saying Meek Mill smashed Rihanna. Now, what is the reason for you bringing Rihanna into this? And I'm sorry, Rihanna Navy. Yes, that is exactly what he said. He didn't say, oh, I didn't mean that. He said, I'm not going to say it that way. I have to word things differently out of respect for Rocky. So he definitely insinuated that Meek Mill slept with Rihanna. 
absolutely nuts. And we're going to close it out with this woman, Taylor Swift. And let me tell you something about this woman. So she released Midnight's at midnight on Thursday, you know, actually midnight on Friday. And right away, it was number one on iTunes. And this woman has the best rollouts. This was one of the best rollouts I've ever seen. And that's what Taylor Swift does. I listened to the original um, album, 13 tracks, Midnight's. And then guess what she does? She gives you time to listen to it, and then at 3 a.m., she releases another version of the, um, the, uh, the 3 a.m. version where she adds on seven more songs. And out of those seven songs she added, I like six of them. So it's a total of 20 records, and the, the records she added on, was The Great War, Bigger Than the Whole Sky. The Great War is a smash. Bigger Than the Whole Sky. Didn't really like that. But Paris, Fire. High Infidelity, Fire. Glitch, Fire. Would've, Could've, Should've. That's the record with the T in it. That is definitely about Jake Gyllenhaal. That record is a smash. And she is, she's spilling tea in that record. And Dear Reader. So, now she's also releasing, it's going to be a visual album. So, the videos come out 8 a.m., starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. This woman is a marketing genius. She's a packaging genius. And it just felt so good just to get away from all the drama of female rappers and all the politics of uh, female R and B artists or female, you know, female R and B artists. All of the politics of of that and all of the drama of the female female rappers and just Taylor Swift ho hum. Let me put out these thirteen tracks ho hum. Three a.m. comes. Let me switch it up and add on, you know, this edition of it. And her fans are just buying up this album's gonna probably do about seven hundred k first week. In my opinion, and she is just making her claims for she she is to me. It's already set in stone to me. I know we have Adele, and I know about Ponytail, and so she is by far to me the greatest artist, female artist of this generation. Of this generation. All right, so, man, this album, I, I really do like it. Um, out of the 20 joints, i probably say I like 13 out of the 20. So it's maybe like seven, you know, seven that I don't care. And if, and if I like 13, you know, the original album was 13. It's 98% so far, which is the highest acclaimed album of 2022. So even if you do not like Taylor Swift, I'll say that this would be the album that uh, even Taylor Swift, even if you're not a Taylor Swift fan, you'll probably like a few of the joints. Because the very first joint, I thought I'd listen to Ariana Grande. <laughs> that sounds like a ponytail joint, the very first joint when it comes on. But shout out to Taylor Swift, man. Um she really, really put this album together nicely. She started the rollout a couple of months ago. You know, every every uh, every week at midnight, she was releasing something else. A perfect rollout. Perfect. This this is what I'm talking about. This is an artist. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, hit that notification bell.